Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you guys how you can use your PS4 controller on PC for pretty much games such as Roblox and you know Steam games such as uh, Assassin's Creed 3 or any of those games that really have controllable uh, or not controllable controller compatibility. Ah, I don't know why I said that, but pretty much what you guys are going to need is the SCP server, this file right here. I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and download this file. Um, so pretty much once you guys have it downloaded, you just want to open it up and then go to Ben. Um, you guys may have, you know, more stuff than this or um, you, may, you guys may have just these over here, but don't, you don't need to worry about these. Um, this is for the Xbox 316 controller, uh, but right now we're doing PS4. So pretty much once you guys have this open, you want to go to Zadig, and then you guys want to run it. So here we are, we have our little window here. Uh, I already have it installed, so there's no need for me to reinstall it, but I will show you guys how to install it. So you guys want to make sure you do have your PS4 connected already to your computer. Uh, and once you guys have that, you want to go to Device. You guys want to load preset, and then you guys want to go to DualShock 4. This is the PS4 controller. It's also named wireless controller. Um, and then down here, your PS4 controller should appear. Uh, I don't have mine connected because, as I said, I already installed it, so there's no need to, you know, do any of that. But you guys should have your PS4 uh, controller little driver right in this slot, and you guys want to pick a slot that you want it to. Uh, replace it with so pretty much right here this is the USB port that's in front of my computer uh, you guys can go through it and select whichever one you want to replace it with um, but yeah for me I have it set to my USB port that's in front of my computer um, but yeah once you guys do that you just want to hit install and once you guys do that uh, it should take a few minutes or seconds it depends really on how fast it connects but your PS4 controller should start blinking, the light on it should start blinking yellow or orange. Uh, and then after a while, like a few seconds or so, it should um, blink bright red. And if it blinks bright red, that means that your controller is fully connected to your PC and you can go and play games such as Roblox with it. And it should work 100%. Now, some computers already have this installed in them. So you guys may not need to do this. All you gotta do is just pretty much connect it like so, and then you know it's pretty much done. You don't need to go through this whole process. But for most computers, you do have to do this process um, to be able to use your PS4 controller. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to make an update video, com you know, letting you guys know how to officially uh, connect your PS4 controller to your uh, PC. I did make a video a while back on how to do it for Roblox. It was a, a really good video to be honest. I mean it did good like in terms of views and likes and stuff like that. I really do appreciate the support on that video. But the, the, the video itself like the tutorial was just terrible and I do apologize for that. So today I made you guys a better one. I really do hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and if you guys want more I will give you guys more. But anyways please comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.